Hey everybody, this is Sully, Five Freaking Onion Rings, and if you got the COVID hair, you gotta love it. Like, just love it. But I love DaVinci Resolve. I really do. I think number 17 has just got some great, great, great pieces. I love it. I think it's great software. But if you've ever worked in a project and you realized when you went to export that you were in the wrong timeline frame rate, you realize that you can't go in and click the down arrow and just select your frame rate and that all the work you did on the project is for 60 fps when you want to output in 24 fps or it's in 24 fps and you want to output in 60 and you thought you were in 60 and the whole time and you just you finished your edit and you cannot change your frame rate i'm about to show you a small trick to fix that it only takes a few seconds so we're going to jump right in Thanks a lot. Don't forget to like, subscribe, thumbs up, and let me know if you want to do this in the future. Any more type of tutorials on DaVinci Resolve because I love the software. I think it's great. Let's jump in. So I have my clip here, everything in, and I have a 60 FPS 4K clip along with 30 FPS 1080 and 30 FPS or 29.970 FPS 4K. So it's a mix of different clips with different frame rates and my timeline is set up for 30 FPS. So it's just set up for 30 and I cannot change my timeline frame rate. I wanted to output this as 60 FPS. And while doing this, I found two methods. The first method is where you just go over to your media section, you right click and you say timelines, create new timeline. Inside of here, you uncheck use project settings, you go to format, you set your resolution to what you want, and your frame rate, I'm going to say 60 FPS, 60. I also want to check on monitor, and I want to change it to the correct, for me it's 1080p60, but you want to change it to the correct format. So if you're in 2K or Ultra HD, whatnot, you have to check the correct format in monitor, otherwise you will get some really weird interactions. So you're going to create that timeline. It's going to be blank. Go back to your first timeline, highlight. I hit control A and then control C to copy. Go back over to timeline two, right click and hit paste. And that will put in your whole time frame. Your whole timeline will now be in 60 FPS and you get that sweet, sweet, sweet 60 fps footage and you get that smooth dog tail and everything is happy 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 also if you are in go into your settings if you use optical flow down in retime process optical flow it will smooth out your 30 so it doesn't look horrible so it, it won't look as smooth as a, a true 60 fps but it'll look pretty good but for mine i want my smooth dog tail to be just smooth and clean and happy. So whenever I go over to deliver, I now have an option. I just do YouTube. I have an option, so 60 FPS. If I wanted to, I could still go back to my edit, go into my first timeline, deliver, and output at 30 FPS. So 30 FPS for my frame rate. That's the old method that I used to use, and I do like it. This way it works pretty well. It will allow you to keep editing on your new timeline. Just make sure you open the correct timeline. Timeline Metadata 2, which is at 60 FPS, and I can now edit again and do normal everything. What I have done in the past as well is to right-click on the timeline, say Create New Timeline Using Selected Clips, and again, take off project settings, go to format, set your FPS, your timeline frame rate. I'm going to say 5994 this time, just to try something different. And monitor, make sure you monitor. Don't forget to change monitor to the exact same that you have your format in, or you'll get some playback issues and it's very strange. But we're going to create. Now this method, a little bit different it will make everything into one clip so if you've edited and you're already done this is the fastest method you can use because it just pops everything in for you but it makes it into one clip and if you realize you need to go editing again you just right click on that clip 
and then you say decompose in place and that will get you back to your normal clip so you can go in and add your extra whatever you want to add doesn't matter now whenever you go to export or in deliver you're now going to have your new frame right here this is the fastest way I found to make sure you're exporting at the correct frame rate so right now I have timeline 1 that is 30 FPS, timeline 2 is 60, and timeline 3 is 59.940. And that's indicated up here. If you click metadata in the upper right, timeline 1, it will show you your FPS. 2 is 60, and 3 is 59.940. Now once you do that, just deliver, set your options. I don't even know why they give you a frame rate drop down if you can't change it. I mean, there's no way to change it. So that is the easiest way I've found to output multiple frame rate videos from the same timeline. And if you're like me, I edited in multiple frame rates in the same clips, and I've, I've accidentally set my global settings up for the wrong frame rate, and it caused issues. So this is the fastest fix I know for that. And if you like that, Give me a like, subscribe, thumbs up, let me know what you think. Uh, I do like DaVinci Resolve. I've come across new things every few days that I'm like, ooh, someone else might have the same issue. So I normally don't do tutorials, but I kind of like doing these. They're a lot of fun. And yeah, I just want to thank you so much for stopping in and uh, let me know what you think. If you have a different method, I am all ears because I've had entire setups that got totally messed up from having having the wrong frame rate set and it drives me crazy so thank you again hope you all have a good day be safe out there don't forget i have my shirt today day at home wear a mask actually it's a subnet mask but whatever stay at home wear a mask it's a good thing y'all have a good day thank you so much be safe love you all thanks y'all have a good one